In this video we will take a look at siderophores. Siderophores are used by bacteria and fungi to accumulate iron molecules. Iron is needed for most cells to perform many different types of reactions and so it's a resource that bacteria and human cells and fungi are all competing to get. Now let's take a closer look at how siderophores actually work within a bacteria. Here we can see the siderophore in yellow. It is secreted out of the bacteria through a transporter that is shown here in orange. It then binds to extracellular iron and the iron bound siderophore is then in turn bound to the purple siderophore receptor and then is able to be taken up again by the bacteria. And that is basically how the bacteria can gather iron from the extracellular space and take it inside where it can be used for many different reactions. But the human cells are also competing with the bacteria for these iron molecules. They use a different system that relies on a molecule that's called transferrin. But in this video we won't cover that too much. However, some bacteria has developed siderophores with extra high affinity for iron. And so when this extra good siderophore gets close to a transferrin molecule, it can kind of steal the iron from it. Because the iron has more affinity for the siderophore than to the transferrin molecule. But the human cells have also been evolving to fight back against these bacteria. They have developed a molecule called LCN2 that they secrete out into the extracellular space and they then bind to the siderophores, making iron unable to bind to the siderophore and making more iron available for the human cell. Lastly, we will take a look at stealth siderophores, which are siderophores that the bacteria have created that are able to avoid the LCN2 molecule. So bacteria that have this type of siderophore are able to gather iron more effectively. And that was it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe.